Hi kids, it's Miss Stacy. Today I'm going to read you this book, Stranger in the Woods, a Photographic Fantasy by Carl Sams and Jean Stoik. They are the photographers and they also wrote the words. So all the pictures in this book are from photographs they took with cameras and uh, no, no drawings in this book, just photos. You kids who were on Zoom with me today, We'll remember it from then. Stranger in the Woods. For those who protect wild places and to the snowman that lives in every child's heart. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting, twirling dance through the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. Daybreak came, that means sunrise, morning. Softly moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. The birds were the first to notice. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods. Take care, take care. The Blue Jays cawed a warning from high in the tops of the tall oaks. What? Do you hear the Jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes, he whispered. I always listen to the birds. The wind blowing through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and all the sounds of the woods. Stranger in the woods. Who, who's in the woods? Where? What did the jays say? Where is he? Asked the owl of many questions. <coughs> coo, 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 could that be him? Asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree, follow the snow's trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. Who, who's in the woods? Why is he here? When, when did the stranger come? Asked the owl of many questions. I've been here since early morning, before the first pale light on the eastern sky, said the munching muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed my pond. I followed the snow trail under the light of the winter moon, answered the buck. He was not there during the night, that I am sure. As the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of the meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted. <clears throat> Where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? Yes, yes. I do see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and ch 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 check, check him out. Who, who, who will go? Who, who, who will go see? Asked the owl of many questions. Now, don't go looking at me. I'm much too busy ch 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 chewing on my antler, sputtered the porcupine. That's an antler that fell off a buck. Bucks uh, lose their antlers. It might have fallen off of the buck the year before. You'll not be volunteering me. No siree, said the scared rabbit. Is, is he watching me? Howdy dee, it's me, the chickadee dee. I will go. I will take the lead. I'm the smallest and I can't scamper quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tunnel under the snow where only I can go, creeping in closer to get a look quietly, just like a mouse. Let it be me. Let me go, volunteered the fawn. 
I can do it. I know I can. I am the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. I can fly faster, chirped the cardinal. But I can run like lightning and I have antlers, boasted the buck. But I am, I am red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say. There's the buck and the cardinal approaching the stranger. What are you waiting for? I'm there already, dee dee, exclaimed the chickadee dee dee. Chickadee dee dee dee. Gee gee gee, said the chickadee dee dee. There are nuts and seeds on his hat for you and me. This stranger is friendly. Come see, come see, there's plenty. I can see there's something for you, said the buck. Could it be there's something for me? My nose is leading me to corn buried beneath the snow. There's the doe and the fawn checking out the stranger. I found a treat that I can eat, said the young doe as she reached out to the stranger. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? What is this? questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? After the corn was gone, the animals left by the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman stood alone, but only for a short time. They have eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister, peeking out from behind the evergreens. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back, encouraged the brother. The animals will never know we were here. How long will we feed them, she asked. For a long time, he replied. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away, until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. I think they like carrots the best. The end. I hope you liked Stranger in the Woods. I liked it. Talk to you later, kids. Bye.